Lyon, the third largest city in France, is a cosmopolitan hub, bursting at the seams with a wealth of exciting attractions. Come along with facts first as we explore the best things to do in Lyon, France. Explore Old Lyon. As one of Europe's largest and most beautiful historic districts, Old Lyon is a must-see for any traveler. Because of Lyon's flourishing silk industry between the 15th and 17th centuries, wealthy merchant families from all across Italy, Germany, and France settled there. These families erected exquisite buildings in Gothic and Renaissance styles, many of which can still be seen today all over the St. Paul, St. George, and St. Jean districts. In addition to the elegant homes, Vieux Lyon also features a wide variety of historical sites. There are so many, it's easy to get caught up in getting from one to another. You'll forget to take the neighborhood's unique character and ambiance in. Indulge in a leisurely stroll around the quaint neighborhood and make pit stops at any of the shops or bakeries that catch your eye. Discover the charm of La Place Belcour. Located on an isthmus between the Sound and Rhone rivers, La Place Belcour is the beating heart of Lyon. It ranks third in size among pedestrian squares in France and is one of the biggest in all of Europe. In this area, you can find a wide variety of fun activities to engage in. Visitors can explore the stores, ride the Ferris wheel, stop by the Tourist Information Center, snap pictures of the Louis XIV statue, access the metro, and catch a glimpse of the Fourvière Basilica, which overlooks the city. Because of its beauty and significance, we highly recommend you begin your explorations here. Ride the funicular up Fourvière Hill. Obtain a breathtaking view of the city by riding the century-old funicular up to Fourvier Hill. The tiny Basilica of Notre Dame de Fourvier and the ancient Gallo-Roman Amphitheater are both worth seeing while you're in town. Riding the historic funicular in Vieux Lyon is the quickest way to get to Fourvier. Alternatively, you can get even better views of the city from the top of the hill by ascending the steep stairs that lead there from Monte de Chateau. One helpful hint is to ride the funicular to the top of the hill, then walk down to the Vieux Lyon neighborhood. Taking the stairs instead of the subway will not only save you money, but it will also allow you to see more of the neighborhood and its quaint side streets on the way down. Musée des Beaux-Arts de Lyon Lyon is home to many excellent art galleries, one of which is the Musée des Beaux-Arts de Lyon. Located in a former monastery from the 1600s, this museum has the second largest collection of fine art in all of France, only after the Louvre. Inside, you'll find 70 galleries brimming with masterpieces. Ancient Egyptian treasures and intricate sculptures from the 1300s to the 1900s are on display here. Approximately 600 artifacts of Egyptian origin are stored here. There are also a variety of treasures to be looked at, including statuettes, busts, reliefs, and sarcophagi. Even if you know nothing about art, you should still make time to visit this museum. Treat your taste buds to cannelle. One of the nicest things to do in Lyon during lunchtime is to place a cannelle order. Cannelle, a delicate and exquisite fish dumpling entree, is one of Lyon's most recognized and popular meals. Its star ingredient is a pike dumpling that's both fluffy and soft, thanks to being cooked in a luxurious langoustine sauce. When a meal on a menu indicates it'll take between 15 and 20 minutes to prepare, you can be sure it'll be worth the wait. One of the best places to enjoy them is at Café du Soleil. The canals there are regarded as some of the finest in the area. This restaurant, located in the heart of Saint-Georges and Vieux Lyon, boasts a comfortable ambiance and serves a wide variety of tasty cuisine. You can get them as a side dish, a topping for a salad with eggplant caviar, or a main dish served over rice and topped with a unique sauce. If you don't like fish, the restaurant also serves chicken in a mushroom sauce. Go see the Basilica of Notre Dame de Fourvier. The interior and exterior of this basilica are equally breathtaking in their beauty. Many consider Fourvier to be the most beautiful and inspiring of all the churches, minor basilicas, and cathedrals in the world. The walls are covered in hundreds of mosaics of varying colors that depict stunning scenes from the Bible. When the light changes throughout the day, the mosaics take on new shades of color and come to life. Don't miss out on having a complete view of the city from the observation terrace outside. Lyon's size is clearly visible from this vantage point. It's a massive city, but it doesn't feel as overpowering as others can be because of its layout and its subdivision into neighborhoods. Gallo-Roman Amphitheater and Museum Modern Lyon has a rich history that spans from the Stone Age in 12,000 BC to the founding of Roman Lugdunum by the Gauls in 43 BC. And on the slopes of Fourvier Hill, one can explore the remnants, 
such as the Gallo-Roman Grand Amphitheater and Odeon, which are both designated as UNESCO World Heritage Sites. It won't cost you a dime to wander the ruins outside, and it'll only set you back 4 to 7 euro to check out the nearby museum, which features one of the finest archaeological collections in all of France. Expert historians and culture vultures will like walking around this area to discover other historical gems, such as the Aqueduct du Guerre, one of the longest remaining ancient Roman aqueducts that supplied water to Lugdunum, and the remains of a classic Roman bath known as Thermes Antiques. Seek out Lyon's street art. Street artists in Lyon are among the most talented in France, making the city one of the most interesting destinations in the country to view street art. It's not unusual to round a corner and find yourself staring at a huge mural painted on the side of a building. There are about a hundred paintings hidden across town for you to find. You'll see them more frequently in lower income areas and in public housing. Additionally, looking for them is a fantastic way to find new, interesting places you might not have found otherwise. Itat Uni is one of the best places to go if you want to view some great examples of local street art. There's an outdoor museum there with 25 original murals from the 80s. The original work of street art in Lyon is called Le Mur de Canuts, located in the heart of La Croix Rousset. It's an optical illusion that captivates with its hyper-realistic visuals and extraordinary attention to detail. Sneak through the city's hidden passages. Discovering the hidden traboules of Lyon is one of the city's most exciting activities. These are underground tunnels that lead to the Sound River and are hidden from view. Around 40 of these Renaissance-era masterpieces are currently accessible for visitors. Originally, they served as a safe haven for Lyon's silk workers by providing a convenient route to and from the river. That way, they could transport textiles that were finished from the city's many factories. The once unknown tunnels are now a fascinating tourist destination. The walkways intertwine with buildings, crossing courtyards, and spanning stairwells. Keep an eye out for public property as some of them run through it. And if you happen to get lost, the green and yellow directional arrows painted on the walls will get you back on track in no time. La Pente de la Croix Russe La Pente, a neighborhood in the foothills of Croix Russe, has several charming boutiques, eateries, and wine bars tucked away in its narrow streets and lanes. Both the ancient Roman ruins and the Cor de Verras, a vast secret courtyard with a spectacular six-floor stairway and a popular meeting place for the Canuts revolutionists, are fantastic places to visit in the area. Because of its lack of familiarity, many visitors bypass this district. You can avoid the metro and take a picturesque and charming route down from Croix Rousse to Hotel de Ville. The region is stunning and it only takes around 20 minutes to get there on foot. Now it's time to hear from you. Have you ever been to Lyon, France? If so, did we miss any of your favorites? If not, do you think you'll ever get there? Let us know in the comments section below.